All right, so the second episode of my water house project, I'm going to be taking you through how I create a sky in Blender. We're going to be getting some nice lighting in, in the scene. Um, in the previous episode, we just did some massing, so check that out if you haven't seen it already. And let's just jump straight into it. All right, also, I've done a little bit of work just um, recently on this, and I've kind of just added a little bit more detail into the massing, but... I'm using the same techniques as I did before, and this is more of an intermediate tutorial, so I'm not going to be explaining every single step I do, but I do have um, kind of full courses for absolute beginners as well on my channel if you want to have a look at that. So you can see I've kind of just built this scene out a little bit more. I've got like this kind of bridge here, which will be quite interesting, and that'll be glass, and it'll be quite a nice little um, feature there, um, but the view is still the same. All right, so what we want to do to start out with is we want to go into our shader editor and we want to go to world. And now that we've got that, this should come up. We want to go shift A, type in environment texture. And then we want to drag color into color. And let's just go open the HDRI that you've downloaded. And I'm just going to go add that in. Now this is one from PG Skies. It's quite good. That They are paid hdris but they're really good otherwise you can get them from polyhaven for free as well i just like pg skies because the consistency is a little bit better so now that we've kind of got this whole set up in you want to just press ctrl t on the environment shader and then this mapping and texture coordinate should come up if it doesn't come up go into your um, preferences and you will you want to enable um, node wrangler and then that should allow you to do that so let's just go to our render settings. We want this to be cycles and then GPU compute if you've got a GPU um, a graphics card that you're going to use. Otherwise, you can use CPU too. And then we want to denoise. And because I've got an NVIDIA graphics card, I'm going to go optics. And then that's pretty much it. So we want to go up here to the viewport shading. And then let's just see what happens. We should see the HDRI pop up. So it's quite bright at the moment, but this is quite a cloudy HDRI, um, which at the moment is the vibe that I'm going for. And I can always change it later. This is just to kind of get an idea on what the lighting is doing. So that's pretty good. I'm just gonna drop this exposure down a little bit. That's pretty good. And now over here on the rotation and the Z value, I'm just gonna go move this around. And by doing this, it's actually gonna move the sky. So you can see we've got some really interesting lighting and shadows that are casted depending on where the sky is, you know, rotated. So I'm just having a little play around for now. This is quite interesting here. Um, we've got a little bit of lighting here and also the background is quite moody. You've got some nice contrast there. So this is actually where I'm going to leave it for now. And then once we've got the, the textures in and the next, um, the next stage of this project, it's going to kind of help show what the lighting should be doing. Make sure to check out my Instagram at Oliver Higgins Architecture. And I've also got a Discord. There's a link in the description. You can share your work with me and get feedback. And it's just a really great place to grow as a 3D artist. So I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.